Hello my supporters and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. Today I will try to beat Brock Lesnar who seems unstoppable with Kofi Kingston as my superstar. Brock Lesnar defeated Kofi Kingston in a mere 7 seconds on the Oct. 4, 2019 episode of Friday Night Smackdown. The win brought an abrupt end to Kingston's six-month reign as WWE Champion and WWE's decision to immediately pivot Lesnar to a feud with King Velasquez and push Kingston back down the card only enraged fans even further. Former WWE writer Chris Dunn was a guest on the Public Enemies podcast this week and discussed that infamous booking decision, saying WWE under the leadership of Vince McMahon felt Lesnar needed a dominant when heading into his match with Velasquez. That bout wound up lasting a mere two minutes before the Beast won in Saudi Arabia. He also noted that Kingston was supposed to get some sort of follow-up the next week, only for it to get cut from time. Kingston would not get a one-on-one -on -one shot at the WWE Championship again until July 2021 at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which saw him get squashed by Bobby Lashley. He was gonna have an interview the next week on SmackDown and be able to respond to it. Those types of promos are kind of make or break promos. Due to time, because it was at the end of the show, it was cut for time, Dunn noted. Me better change what happened or do anything besides make me feel bad, and I'm not going to let it do that. I have a lot more career left to handle. I think it's a scenario where it's a rare and unique opportunity to be on this roster. As far as my run, being WWE Champion, I got to go 6 months almost to the day so that is a very long reign. To be able to button that up was great. I enjoyed my title run. I enjoyed every single moment of it because I know how rare it is to be in that championship role. You embrace it. WWE Champion Kofi Kingston is set to face his toughest challenge yet when his title goes on the line against Brock Lesnar on SmackDown's Fox debut Friday night. Although it may seem like a foregone conclusion the Beast Incarnate will become champion, nothing is guaranteed in WWE. As with any standard match, there are lots of ways this could play out for both competitors. Let's take a look at all the scenarios that could happen in Kingston vs. Lesnar. The least likely outcome of the bunch is that Kingston will retain his title with a victory by pinfall or submission. In fact, it's absurd to think the submission option is even remotely possible. Lesnar rarely loses to begin with, but when he does, it's by pinfall and often accompanied by some shenanigans to protect him. He's not going to tab out to someone who doesn't even use a submission finisher. A pinfall is more likely, but even that is a stretch. However, the Beast is not unstoppable and Kingston is the WWE Champion, so this isn't impossible. The title holder could score an upset through sheer grit and determination, proving he has the heart to overcome any odds by putting Lesnar down with a trouble in paradise. If WWE wants to avoid a clean finish, Kingston could get the upper hand with some outside interference from New Day teammates, Big E and Xavier Woods, or someone else attacking the challenger. Don't hold your breath on either of these scenarios happening, though. Hope you enjoy this match and see you again tomorrow.